Hi everybody, welcome to a new series of tutorials on Playbit. Playbit is a creative GOOV randomizer and it allows you to create very interesting and unique beats and patterns randomizing each track containing the pattern. It can be used as a standalone or inside and host as a, an AUV3. Um, so let's go through in this first video the interface and we'll use other videos on how to explain how to use it. Um, so starting from the top left we have uh, our um, about under the name play bit then we have uh, the selection of the tempo here. If you click on the F you can have fine selections as well. And you have a general undo which will allow you to change the last, uh, the last step okay like so. Here you can save your preset with sample or not, of course giving a name. Uh, here you have additional settings for your device, CC channel, MIDI input, and also you can enable uh, able to link. Next you have the selection of how many steps you want, which are represented underneath here, 16 in this case, or if you click on it, 32. Then next you have the selection of, uh, you have a dice here to randomize, uh, in this case, all the patterns for steps. And you click on it, it will create a randomized part. You can also uh, lock that and you, if you done, uh, uh, if you want to reverse uh, the randomized pattern, just click on it and it will reverse it back. Here is where you select each different uh, track in terms of because you need to have one selected to apply the changes or all of them if you want to apply to all of them. For example, if I click on the first one, I click randomize for the step as I selected here, it will only randomize the steps there. Okay, and, and, and also the other parameters, of, of course. And um, so you have different tracks here. If you click on here, you can choose to load the sample, import one, or clear the sample. If, for example, I click on load the sample, double click on the sample, it will appear here. Then you can go to the next sample with this arrow, and also to the previous um, sample with this arrow. And if you click on the plus sign again, you can load another sample, import it, or clear the sample. Again, uh, let's double cl click on it, and let's load uh, another kick. Um, and you can continue like so for all the other tracks. Um, underneath here in the center, uh, underneath the dice here, uh, we have different tabs uh, with dice which are used to randomize each part. So you have a selection of steps here, density, the number of times that uh, um, a step or sample is repeating in terms of playing, the corresponding pitch, volume and pan. Under each one of them, as you change the different sections, you have additional parameters like mean and max values, which are used for randomization. You can randomize each individual once, just using the dices. Yeah, just click on it, and it will randomize the steps for this particular track, which is enabled. Then here you have the length of uh, um, the waveform that is played. Here you can select to continuously randomize as that uh, the preset is played and here you set how many times it's played before it gets randomized. Here you can select the amount of shuffle and also the um, the, um, the bits, um, the only measure for the bits uh, which are used for the shuffle. Uh, here you can set the uh, volume. Then for each corresponding track you can set the length for the number of steps which are played Okay, like so. So you can do it individually for each one of them, like so. Here you can solo a part or mute a part. Okay, and you click again to remove the selection. Here you can delete uh, what has been um, all the steps which are there. Again, you can click on the dice to bring them back, or you can click hold and move to copy them on the track underneath. And of course, you can click on each of the steps to create your own, like so. Underneath here you have a pre number of presets uh, which you can choose like so, okay, and um, and you can also click on a hold on one to save the changes to the corresponding one, and then ultimately here you have a play button to um, to uh, play the preset which is active. Okay, uh, there was just a, a quick overview of the Playbeat interface. I see you next time, the next video on how. Uh, to use it with different samples. See you next time. Bye.